the next step goes on around the age of 28 21 the next step is 28 around the age of 28 almost we will come upon the conclusion that the imagine, imaginations can never become reality nothing can work out but after, uh, when you come when you try to come to that conclusion suddenly one day somewhere at some time some point of time you see somebody from a long distance from a long distance when you see you think suddenly you think yes there is a possibility there may be a possibility from long distance you can see anything you want to see you can look anything you want to look there is no need that it should be a reality because you are continuously expecting for a long time you are continuously again and again and again imagining, imagining, imagining recollecting the same memory for seven years you suddenly project and see yes, here is a person whom I want to see whom I was searching to meet here is a right person for her only, I am waiting for her all the imaginations you just project outside and see what you want to see and then you compare this green green things become greenery you think the things have become greenery what happens at that moment is what is called falling in love you see understand the word very clearly falling in love never racing in love the very word says falling Falling means just dropping. <laughs> Falling in love, not <coughs> racing in love. That is what we call, this is the science of falling in love. If you understand very clearly this science, it will help you tremendously. This is the circuit, how we fall in love. So, we suddenly feel the things have become greenery, roses are more rosy, grass is more green, and some music is more audible life becomes a poetry sort of poetry at least so we fall in love after falling in love as long as you maintain the distance enough distance if you meet only one hour a day or once in a while no problem arises things go smoothly and everything goes as you write in the poetry and nothing disturbs you see one hour you can project your imagination on her and see and she can project her imaginations on you and see in one hour there will be no need to break the other's imaginations one hour you can act as a good person one hour you can manage with mask one hour is not too much time to manage with a mask one hour it will not be a big thing so this is the time when you write poetries, when you do paintings, when you write letters, all these things happen. This is the time when you completely, with a full swing, you project your dreams that it has become a reality. It has come to life. You feel that what you have imagined is not a wastage. It has come to reality. God has done something great good to you by creating a person as you wanted all these great things happen in your life in your mind you feel that you are not walking on the earth everything happens when that one hour becomes two hour as long as it is only one hour per day no problem arises things go smoothly beautifully when that one hour becomes two hour then somewhere slowly a small scratch small rubbing then immediately we think no life, life, life will be like that we need to we also need to adjust little when this word arises the first step when the two hours become four hours 
I thought it is a green, not green, it is yellow. All right, like means like this only. We cannot get as we wanted. Let us adjust. You come to the next step. Let us adjust. So when the four hours became six hours, little more, slowly, you understand. It may not be yellow, pale yellow. Okay. We are also not perfect. So naturally we will get this type of person only. We should put up like means like that only. All these words you bring it just as a buffer. You see you cannot face the reality directly. So you bring buffers inside. The, in the car. There is a buffer system you know. The shocks of the roads are not directly transferred to you. There is a buffer system. The cushion system which takes care of the shocks. And you are led to be comfortable. Just like that, you cannot live with the reality. You cannot say to yourself, your imagination is lie and the reality is different. No. You cannot say that. You keep a buffers. Buffer means these are the consoling words. See, life means like this only. Adjustment. I am also not perfect. How can I expect the perfection? All these words are the buffers which you use. When the Six hours became ten hours. You understand? This is green and this is white. The pure white. Here again, sunny moon. <laughs> Again, that word is a beautiful word. You see, mark never honey sun. Moon means how long it will be? How long a moon will stand? How long you can see a moon? Sixteen days. Hmm? Sixteen days. So the experience also for 16 days. You have you heard the word honey sun? No. It is always honey moon, never the honey sun. Because you are projecting your imaginations. You are projecting your dreams. How long you can play with your dreams? So you can you eat your dreams and live without hunger? You can eat food and live without hunger. That's okay. But how, can, how long you can postpone your hunger by eating dreams? No. By cherishing dreams, you cannot quench your thirst. <coughs> you cannot quench your hunger. You need to look at the reality. You will be made to face the reality. How many masks you may wear? How many glasses you may wear? How many base you may hide today or tomorrow? You have to understand, you have to see the reality. Once the honeymoon ends, few people understand the imagination cannot become reality. Even then, some people don't understand. Yeah, small story. One man asked, one man came, went to his friend's wedding and presented a puppy, presented a pet dog. After three months, the friend went and asked his friend, How is your married life? How things are going on? What is the difference you find? How about your life? All these questions he asked. The friend who got married, he replied, See, three months ago, you gave me a puppy. At that time, your puppy used to duck bark at me and my wife used to bring newspaper for me. Now, Early morning, your puppy brings newspaper, my wife barks at me. <laughs> Just <laughs> small change, <laughs> nothing much. <laughs> Just the beauty is changed. <laughs> Three months ago, he brings newspaper, <laughs> she brings newspaper and he barks. Now, just a small change, nothing else. So now you, few people understand, yes. At least in this point, if you understand <coughs> that your dreams cannot become true, your imaginations cannot <coughs> become reality, because it is your imaginations. It is not the reality. Reality is totally different. Imaginations are totally different. Then tension starts. The gap between the reality and the imagination is what is called tension. Almost 
all our tension, all the tension which exists in our life, in our house, if you see, this will be the cause. The gap between the imaginary life and the real life. This gap is what is called tension, nothing else. So there are few people who don't even don't understand the fact that dreams can never become reality even at this point. They go to the next step. What is the next step? They start chiseling the other. Starting, start the chiseling the other. You have one image about her. She has got one image about you. You take a chisel and hammer in your hand. You start chiseling her. And she takes one more chisel and hammer and she starts chiseling you. If it's a stone, you can chisel and make an idol and keep where you want. If it's a wood, you can make a furniture and keep where you want. But can you chisel, can you mold a live person? But we are not ready to understand it. We are not ready to understand that. We are stubborn in chiseling the other. What happens when you chisel? If you chisel a live being, what will come out? Only blood and... That's all, nothing else. That is what is happening in our houses, in our lives. Dharma Kshetra becomes Guru Kshetra, which is supposed to be a Dharma Kshetra becomes Guru Kshetra. Of course, if you have a small understanding that your dreams cannot become real, your houses will be maintained as Dharma Kshetra. If that one understanding is taken out, if you don't have that one understanding, the same Dharma Kshetra becomes Guru Kshetra. If you feel homely at your house, you are living in a home. If you feel lonely at your home, you are living in a house. House can be built by brick, mortar, stove. Any contractor will do. Call a contractor, he will build a house. A contract is enough to build a house. But to build a home, a contract is necessary. Never a contract. Contract is necessary. We never live with the real person. We continuously live with our own imagination. That is the reason we don't look into each other's eyes. It is very rare to have an eye contact. Having eye contact, if you have an eye contact continuously with the persons with whom you are living, you can be sure you are living with persons. If you don't have the eye contacts, be very clear, you are living with imaginations. You are not living with the real persons. Then if you don't understand, even after this point, that you can never make your dreams into a reality, you can never make your dreams into a real person, till the end you will be having a only chisel and hammer in your hand. Chisel and hammer only will be the emblem of your life. Nothing else will be the emblem. Instead of Mundal Sutra, you will be having chisel and hammer. In your hand, chisel and armor will become a lifestyle. I again and again insist, tell the people, if you want to live, if you want to have a life, first thing, drop the chisel and armor. <coughs> Dropping the chisel and the hammer is the first step towards the life. Then you will be able to drop that. Next step, we can drop that root of the chisel and hammer. What is the root of the chisel and the hammer? Imaginations. Your own projections. Not only in the zone of wife or husband, even in the zone of daughter, in the zone of son, the zone of brother, the zone of relatives. In all the zones, we have our own imaginations. We have our own projections, which we force, pressurize on the other. And he is pressurizing his pressure on you. Everybody has got a mold in their hand. As soon as they see you, they just press that mold on you and take out. And he is having a mold on his hand. 
you are having a mold on your hand. Both of you are trying to press their molds on the other. How can you live the life if you continuously project your dreams on the other, your desires on the others? <laughs>